So for the Halloween special, I made a Discord server, and while the Discord server was up, there were some really good memes, so I decided to make it a video. I don't know which were original and which were repost, so I've tried to keep it mostly to the ones I know are original, but if you see me miscredit something, do let me know, and I'll keep updates in the description. Okay, meme time. Clay consistently in book one. Maybe I am a monster. <laughs> That's just accurate. That is just accurate. Oh, look at that. I've been impaled. <laughs> looks like a cinnamon roll and is actually a cinnamon roll looks like a cinnamon roll and could actually kill you looks like they could kill you but is actually a cinnamon roll <laughs> and looks like they could kill you and could actually kill you but the best one perhaps of all unpredictable what the dragonettes of destiny think about to shield their thoughts from mind readers the heat of the volcano the chill of the blizzard cows <laughs> clay trying to live his life Barrel. <laughs> I've done nothing wrong ever in my life. I know this and I love you. True. The Dragonettes of Destiny checking on their students, <laughs> Moon, Tamarin, Carnelian, and Big Tail, with Sora the Dragon playing Cactus. Oh no! And on that topic, Tamarin jumps behind a bookshelf like a sane dragon. Carnelian, this is fine. <laughs> oh, we can't joke about this, guys. <laughs> No. This papaya tastes boring. Exactly. I guess I normally it's like one more throw to this sort of thing. The fitness grand pacer test is a multi stage aerobic capacity. This guy is the nephew of Queen Glacier. See? Nobody cares. <laughs> This is such an accurate meme, I love it. You've heard of Elf on the Shelf, now get ready for Kibli on the Studio Ghibli! <laughs> That's so creative! Literally anyone else? Kinkajou. <laughs> Corporate needs you to find the differences between this picture and this picture. They're the same picture. <laughs> Who would win? Big, spooky, 2,000-year-old dragon that can make objects do his bidding and can read minds and see the future, or... Strawberry. <laughs> I, my money's on strawberry every time. Every time. You can't defeat me. I know. But he can. <laughs> strawberry. <laughs> I'm telling you, my money's on it every time. Darkness of dragons. Darkness of dragons if Turtle was smart. Oh, no. <laughs> Childhood trauma, yearning for power, depression of not being special, fear of being hated, guilt for mistakes and horrifying visions. Wait. Moon's praise and support. And Kibli's faith and support. Ah, it's so wholesome. Jerboa crafting a child. Also Jerboa. <laughs> I finally found it. After 15 years, the scroll of truth. What is this garbage? Get this yeah, get this out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Give me a real meme. Perfection. Hard to swallow pills. Can't believe would have been the next dark stalker. <laughs> Whoa. That is an interesting statement right there. There certainly are a lot of similarities between the two of them. I, I think I disagree with this meme, though, mostly because Darkstalker's primary evil actions are born out of a desire for vengeance, for holding a grudge, and I just don't think Kibli's the kind of character to do that. Like, we see this in Book 10 when Cobra, his mom, is going to kill his siblings, and he steps in to save them despite having every, every reason to let them die. They're terrible dragons to start with. He's not even the one killing them. And then also, letting them die is going to ensure that they escape cleanly, but he still, like, acts to save them. So I just, like, there are definitely similarities between Kibli and Darkstalker, but I'm just, I'm not entirely convinced he would be the next Darkstalker. But absolute power corrupts absolutely, as they say, so I don't, I don't know. Maybe. Animus magic. Also, animus magic. Also, animus magic. <laughs> That's it. It's so true. This is just this is just arc three. Okay, now we're moving into some more channel specific memes. Um, so if you haven't seen any videos before, maybe you're gonna learn something new here. Stop loving Kibli or draw twenty five. Jam. <laughs> okay, maybe you won't learn anything new. This is this has probably been obvious so far in the video. Jma. Jma. If Kibli did exist, yeah. I mean, you got a point. You have a good point. Moonwatcher after seeing JMA's videos. JMA! <laughs> oh, 
she's after me. Prefer winter over Kibli or draw 25. Jam. <laughs> yeah, not a chance. I would be drawing all 25. Yeah, he'll draw a million cards before he does that. Like, yep, true. I, I would. There aren't enough cards in the world. <laughs> what can I say? The Discord people, they know me. Therapist. Buff Tsunami isn't real. She can't hurt you. Buff Tsunami. <laughs> It's true. Oh, I have nightmares about that drawing. <laughs> <laughs> this JMA at 3 a.m. is very accurate. Also, I love this. Also, I have officially made this my desktop background because I love it so much. It's such a good drawing. It's such a funny meme. <laughs> I love it. Will you please listen? I am not the messiah. He is the messiah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You claim this is a meme, but there are actually a lot of biblical parallels in the Wings of Fire series. We can talk about how Darkstalker is in many ways a representation of Satan. I mean, come on, the dude's modus operandi is temptation and deceit. That is like exactly how the devil works in the Bible. And if that's the case, then Jesus' descent into hell at the climax of the Gospels, his crucifixion, is mirrored quite well by Kibli's descent with Darkstalker into the underground cave at the climax of Arc 2. Additionally, in that same scene, Darkstalker promises Kibli what is essentially the world if he would but bow to Darkstalker. Hmm. Matthew 4, 1 through 11, anyone? And just like the biblical version, Kibli refuses temptation. Look, I'm not saying Kibli is the Messiah. I'm just saying he's not that far off. Okay, those are all the memes we have for today. I hope you enjoyed, and thank you for watching.